This is Alison Hewitt, the Executive Director of Safe Kids Canada. Her organization has compiled and reviewed international research on water safety. The conclusion, children need five layers of protection to keep them safe around the water. Canadian parents want to do everything they can to keep their children safe. So Safe Kids Canada is recommending they implement these five layers of protection to keep their children safe around pools this summer. The first and most important layer is to actively supervise your children. People think that perhaps when they're at the side of the pool they'll be able to hear their children drowning, but in fact when children drown it's often silent as their lungs fill up very quickly. Active supervision means you're within sight and reach of your child. While adult supervision is a top priority, it can't end there. Parents must be trained and prepared to deal with an emergency. This means adults must learn how to swim and get training in first aid and CPR. To add to these layers of safety, children need to be physically blocked from swimming pools when there is no supervision. 49% of all drownings or near drownings happen in home swimming pools. What the research shows us is if those pools had four-sided fencing all the way around the pool, seven out of ten drownings could be prevented for children under the age of five. Most municipalities require three-sided fencing, which means that families use the house as the fourth side. Now this strategy is very effective in keeping our neighbors' children safe, but it allows access to the pool for children living in the home or visiting the home. What Safe Kids Canada recommends is that you put a four-sided fence all the way around the pool. That fence should be at least four feet high or 1.2 meters with a self-latching, self-closing gate. This is recommended regardless of whether or not you have an in-ground or an above-ground pool and whether or not you actually have children living in the home. The next layer, using life jackets. Never use arm floats, inner tubes or inflatable toys to prevent your child from drowning. Life jackets and personal flotation devices are designed for safety, but a child should not be left alone when wearing them. Put young children and weak swimmers in life jackets when in, on or around the water. The last layer of protection is swimming lessons. Children are ready for swimming lessons at about the age of five. But it's important that you don't rely on swimming lessons alone. No matter how strong a swimmer your child is, you must use all five layers of protection to keep your children safe around water this summer. Safe Kids Week runs from May 28th to June 3rd, and Safe Kids Canada, along with Johnson & Johnson, are offering a free Splash Into Safety brochure online at safekidscanada.ca. In it, you'll find all the details about the five layers of protection. Martin Vanderwood reporting.